Where are you dragging me? Haven't you ever heard of a whispered aside? What did Eric do at Cotillion? What do you mean? I mean, I invited Jonathan for Thanksgiving and he texted me back saying he was surprised that Eric and I were still even friends after that night. Please. You of all people respect a well-thought-out sabotage. Although you came through unscathed, Eric's plan was solid. Eric's plan? Stealing your escort, leaving you stranded at the top of the stairs. It was all his idea. By the way, how do you find having a sibling? Someone whose sole purpose on earth is to compete for your parents' love and attention? Uh, if everyone could please find their seat. I am so happy we're sitting next to each other, Rufus. Excuse me. CC, tell me everything about Rufus and Lily's wedding. I was boycotting the floral industry or I would have been there myself. Tragically, I wasn't invited. Apparently, my son-in-law felt it better if I didn't attend. Rufus? Ma'am, it's none of your business. You, you didn't want Lily's own mother at your wedding? Fifth wedding. But still. Lily told me you were still too sick to travel. Thank you, but I mean, I've been in remission since the middle of August. But Lily didn't come home till October. Oh, perhaps I'm, I'm, I'm wrong. It's hard to keep track. <laughs> Wine? Why does my mom have to stick her nose into everyone's business? Oh, come on, Cece's heart pumps secrets in gym. It's not, it's not your mom's fault. You've been defending her all day and ignoring me. What's going on with you? And you're making that face again. No, all right, look, this is getting ridiculous. Jenny, have you ever heard of someone starting to make a brand new face at 19? I don't know, ask Eric. He's mastered, too. Excuse me? Claire told me you were responsible for sabotaging me at Cotillion. What? You don't have anything to say to me? Sweet potatoes are bland. Mother, there's some camembert from artisanal. It's unpasteurized, don't you, Hudson? It's enough. What has gotten into you? Into me? Try you. You're the one who's pregnant. Lily and I would like to thank you all for coming to our first Thanksgiving as a family. Now, before she gets back, I'd like to tell you a joke that I tell every year, which Lily has expressly forbidden. <laughs> a group of pilgrims decide to start a band. And they begin looking for lead singers. How can you two sit there smiling? Don't you have any sense of decency? Morning. No, not one second more. <laughs> Trip and I are going to grow old together. Without you. Or I make my own statement. Where did you get that? He'll be a political joke. And you'll be a punchline. Your affair ends now. Serena. That's what I call Plymouth Rock. You know what? Why don't we just eat? I've lost my appetite. And I want pie. Kids, oh, what makes you an expert? I'm so glad you invited me, Rufus. Cheers.